Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I'm going to tell you how I'm using OBS and the Elgato Stream Deck to seamlessly switch between my face and my slides for my online courses. So there are a few things at work here. First is my camera, which I'll link a video uh, to show you how to set that up if you want to set up the Sony Alpha 6400. But aside from that, the rest of it is done in software. So let me switch to my screen here. And you could see that I have two screens up right now. I've got the OBS settings and I've got the Elgato Stream Deck software, which is showing you what buttons are on the Stream Deck. If you're unsure of what the Elgato Stream Deck is, it's a piece of hardware that you attach to your computer and then you have these programmable buttons based on the software you want to use. And it integrates nicely with OBS, with Soundboard, and uh, Stream Deck. Well, Stream Deck is it. Uh, but Stream Labs, you can open websites or set hotkeys. Uh, or you can even create keyboard maestro scripts and do a whole bunch of stuff. You can create multiple profiles. It's really powerful. So uh, to walk you through the Stream Deck here, and actually let me just bring up uh, on the camera here just to show you what the device looks like. This is what it looks like. And it sits in this little cradle on my desk. So uh, I have a few scenes I want to focus on here. Uh, and that is uh, all of my OBS buttons. You have just me. So when I press that button, the, the scene switches to just the camera and I am full frame. Screen, which is what you're looking at right now. It's just whatever is on my iMac Pro screen. And then both, which is the screen with the little picture of me in the corner like you just saw. The other two buttons are for recording. So you could see that the record button is on right now. And then the other is for live streaming. So when I want to set up a live stream, say for a webinar I'm doing or a YouTube live session, I can just press the OBS Go button and it will uh, seamlessly and quickly start streaming wherever I want it to. The other two buttons you see here are just simply the arrow keys and I use those to switch between slides when I'm working through a uh, keynote. So it can do a bunch of other things like it's just the arrow keys like mapped to those buttons but I like keeping my hand on the stream deck when I'm streaming so that I'm not moving around too much uh, or anything like that. So I'll switch to a screen and then I'll just use the arrows to move through Keynote. The other screen you see, or the other window that you see on the screen here is OBS. And one of the problems that I had when setting this up for my courses was I was getting some weird lag and latency and uh, poor quality from a 4K camera. So I wanted to figure out what was going on there. So here are the settings I have for my computer and my camera. Your mileage may differ uh, or may vary, I guess is what people actually say. Um, so just to walk through these real quick, I have the output mode set to simple. Uh, the video bit rate is 8,000 kilobytes per second or kilobits per second, sorry. Um, I have the encoder and software and I have the audio bit rate at 160. These settings for streaming seem to work for me. And then if I go to recording, I have the record quality set to indistinguishable quality, large file size, uh, and then the format at MP4, the encoder is the software as well. Those are the settings that I'm using for output. And I had those set and I was still getting bad quality. But if we go to the video section of OBS, uh, there are a few settings here that I had as well. So base canvas is my screen resolution. The output scaled resolution is 4K. That is where I think the magic happens, but I'm not entirely sure. And then the downscale filter is called uh, len uh, Lensos. Lensos. Um, and that seemed to be the best downscale filter for me in general. So those are the settings that I have working for my own videos. So this whole video is shot with OBS so you can see the kind of quality it puts out uh, and I will be editing it with ScreenFlow. 
A couple of improvements I want to make to this setup. I want to add a few more buttons to the stream deck. I just have a few up top. I want to add more for, say, Zoom, if I start to use Zoom webinars or get more into Keyboard Maestro so I can kind of set scenes and automate a few things. Like when I do live stream, I want to make sure I turn Dropbox off and things like that. So there are a few more things I want to do with the Stream Deck, but this has been working out really well for my courses because now I can record the raw video. I can switch to the slides. I can bring in my face when I want to, and I don't have to make a whole lot of edit notes for my editor. So he can just look at the video, see where I messed up and make the adjustments instead of me saying like at a minute and 30 seconds to a minute and 45 seconds, show this slide on the screen. I wanted to avoid that and reduce the amount of work as possible. Now he just needs to cut and, and filter and whatever else he does to make the video look super nice. Uh, I edit most of my YouTube videos, but I have an editor for my courses. All right, so I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, if you want to learn more about all of this, you can head over to casabona.org slash videos. I have tutorials there. Um, I have a, a guide that I want to put out. So if you sign up for my email list, you'll get uh, that guide with all of my gear and stuff like that. Uh, and you'll get a bunch of resources and recommendations. So again, that's casabona.org slash videos. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.